In this session, we will discuss singularities and types of singularities. We say that f of z is singular or has a singularity at a point z equal to z naught if f of z is not analytic at z equal to z naught but every neighborhood of z naught contains uh, contains points at which f of z is analytic that is if uh, f of z is said to be uh, not analytic or z naught is z equal to z naught is said to be a singular point of f of z if so if this is our domain and z naught is a point then the first condition is f of z is not analytic at z naught and if you take any neighborhood around z naught there exists at least one point where f of z is analytic okay so analytic uh, singular points are the points at which f of z is not analytic okay now now we call z equal to z naught is an isolated singularity of f of z if z equal to z naught has a neighborhood without further singularities of f of z that means uh, we say that uh, z naught is an isolated singularity this is z naught if there exists a point uh, there exists a neighborhood where f of z is analytic everywhere in this neighborhood except except z naught if you find such a neighborhood then we say that z naught is an uh, isolated singular point so next uh, okay, next we will next we will discuss uh, types of singular so isolated singularity isolated singularities of f of z at z equal to z naught can be classified by Lorentz series we know that Lorentz series expansion of f of z is sigma n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught all power n plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n divided by z minus z naught all power n where this part this part is called a principal part okay so based on uh, Lorentz series we will classify singularity okay so the first type of singularity is removable singularity okay the singularity is said to be removable singularity uh, if if the principal part or is zero for a Lorentz series of f of z at z equal to z naught then z naught is called then z naught is called removable singularity that is a removable a, a, a singularity z equal to z equal to z naught is said to be said to be removable singularity removable singularity singularity if 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 Lorentz series expansion Lorentz series expansion of f of z at z equal to z naught has no principal part that means principal part is absent then we say that this singularity is a removable singularity so we will consider an example so this is say in z by z so here the singular point is z equal to 0 so z equal to 0 is a singular point now we have to check whether what is its Lorentz series so say in z by z you can return as 1 by z into uh, Lorentz series uh, series expansion of sin z is z minus z cubed by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus z raised to 7 by 7 factorial plus etc which is equal to if you 
if you multiply this uh, then then you will get 1 minus z square my by 3 factorial plus z raised to 4 by 5 factorial etc so there is no principal part here because there is no negative powers of z minus 0 here so such singularity then z equal to 0 is a removable singularity singularity okay so uh, the thing is we have to first find uh, Lorentz series expansion of the function and if uh, the Lorentz series expansion of the function with the center z naught has no principal part then the, the singularity is uh, removable singularity now second type of singularity is called a pawn okay so if uh, if the principal part has only finitely many terms then that is it is of the form so principal part has only finitely many points it is of the form v1 by z minus z naught plus v2 by z minus z naught all square plus v3 by z minus z naught all cube plus etc bm divided by z minus z naught all raised to m then the singularity of f of z at z equal to z naught is called a pole and m is its order so if it has only finitely many elements in, in the principal part then the singularity is called a pole so here the Lorentz series expansion if z equal to z naught is a singularity and Lorentz series expansion of f of z at z equal to z naught has a fi only finitely many singular points sorry finitely many terms in the principal part then we say that it is a z equal to z naught is a or and the highest power of z of z minus z naught is called is called the order so here order of pole is M. M. The next type of singular. So uh, now we will get uh, to an example. Example. So so this is e raised to z divided by z square. So first we will find the Lorentz series expansion. So e raised to z by z square. At so here what is the singularity? Z equal to zero is the singularity. So Lorentz series expansion we can take 1 by z square e raised to z uh, Lorentz series uh, Taylor series expansion is 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial plus etc. So this is equal to e raised to z by z square which implies equal to 1 by z square plus 1 by z plus 1 by 2 factorial plus z square by 3 3 factorial plus z by 3 factorial plus etc. So here this is the so what uh, what is the principal part? Principal part is uh, the powers of 1 by z minus 0. So this is the principal part. So how many terms are the principal part? There is only two terms, therefore it has only my finitely many, finitely many terms in principal part, therefore. Uh, it is a pole. Now we have to check what is the order. Z square plus 1 by z. So the highest power of 1 by z minus 0 is 2. So this is a pole of order 2. Okay. Now next, next uh, singularity, next type of singularity is essential singularity. So what we will discuss what is essential singularity. If the principal part of f of z at z equal to z naught has infinitely many terms, we say that f of z has an isolated essential singularity at z, z equal to z naught. That means if, the, if we find the Lorentz series expansion of f of z at z equal to z naught, and if in uh, the principal part of the expansion has infinitely many terms infinitely many terms then we say that this z equal to z naught is a essential 
singularity at z equal to z there is so if you take f of z equal to e raised to 1 by z so here singularity is z equal to 0 is a singularity because it's not defined so now what is the expansion e raised to 1 by z you can expand it as 1 plus we already know what is e raised to 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial plus it is not so e raised to 1 by z 1 by z plus 1 by z square divided by 2 factorial plus etc so all terms here uh, what are, what is the principal part principal part is all terms are in the principal part therefore it has infinitely many principal parts so this is this determine determine whether the singular point is removable singularity singularity or or essential singularity essential singularity okay first question f of z is equal to same z divided by z. solution here here zero is a singular point here zero is a singular point now we have to determine whether this singular point because here the denominator becomes zero when z equal to zero we have to determine whether it is essential or whole or removable singularity for that we will find we will find Lorentz series expansion expansion of f of z so we know we know Taylor series expansion of expansion or McLaurin series expansion of same z same z is equal to z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z square z raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus etc therefore therefore 1 pi z into same z is equal to 1 pi z into z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus z raised to 7 by 7 factorial plus etc so this is equal to 1 minus z square by 3 factorial plus z raised to 4 by 5 factorial minus etc now now here, here, there is uh, no principal part, no term in the principal part. So the principal part of this uh, Taylor uh, Lorentz series expansion is Lorentz series expansion of uh, one by z sin z z is equal to zero. Therefore, therefore z equal to 0 is a, is a removable singularity. Now, so this is an example for removable singularity. Now we will, uh, we will take uh, f of z is equal to sin z divided by z cube okay so finding a second power here zero is a is a z equal to zero is a singular point singular point uh, and therefore then 
we had to determine whether it is pole removable or essential singularity then we are uh, finding okay already we know that sin z is equal to maclaurin series of sin z is equal to z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z square by 4 factorial sorry z raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus etc so f of z is equal to so the Lorentz series expansion it is expansion of f of z is equal to 1 by z cube into sin z this is equal to 1 by z cube into sin z z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus etc. So this is equal to this is equal to uh, 1 by z square minus 1 by 3 factorial plus z square by 5 factorial minus etc. So the principal part of this Lorentz series expansion of z cube 1 by z cube sin z is this 1 by z square therefore there is only finitely many uh, terms in principal part therefore z equal to 0 is a pole and of order we will check what is the power 2 pole of order now, this is an example for uh, pole. Now, third example, I am taking f of z is equal to sin 1 by z. Okay. So, now we will find here, here the singular point is 0. Now, we will find the Lorentz series expansion of sin 1 by z. Okay. So, already we know that sin z expansion is z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus etc. So, sin 1 by z is we will replace z by 1 by z. So, this is 1 by z minus 1 by z cube 3 factorial plus 1 by z raised to 5 5 factorial minus etc so the principal part of this uh, is contains infinitely many terms right so therefore here here principal part part contains infinite terms therefore therefore f of z is equal to same z 1 by z as essential singularity essential singularity at at z equal to z so in this manner we can do or we can uh, identify